let's take a look at exponents and how to solve for the variable. Okay, they asked us to solve for h, and we have 2 to the h power equals 4. And we want to figure out what is h. Well, keep in mind, when you have exponents, it means the base is multiplied by itself the exponent number of times. So this means 2 is multiplied by itself some number of times, and the answer is 4. Well, how many times would you have to multiply 2 together to get 4? Well, 2 times 2 gives me 4, so that means they must have multiplied 2 2 times, which would be 2 to the second power, right? The exponents is how many times we multiplied it together. 1, 2 times would be the second power. So h would be our exponent of 2. Okay, n squared equals 9. So this means we're taking some number and we're multiplying it by itself to get 9. Well, what number times itself gives you 9? 3, right? 3 times 3 equals 9. So another way to write that is 3 squared equals 9. Okay, 3 to the second power equals k. Well, 3 to the second power means you're multiplying 3 out 2 times, right? 3 times 3, well, 3 times 3 would be 9. So k is equal to 9. 1 to the first power equals m. Well, 1 to the first power means you're writing 1 out 1 time. So m is just 1. 3 to the second power equals j. Okay, well, 3 to the second power, remember it's the base multiplied by itself, the exponent number of times. So this means I'm multiplying 3 out 2 times. 3 times 3 gives me 9, so j must be equal to 9. 2 to the first power equals m. Okay, well, that means to write 2 out 1 time, which would just be 2. So m equals 2. 1 to the second power equals b. Well, 1 to the second power means to multiply 1 out 2 times. 1 times 1 is just 1, so b must be equal to 1. 2 to the d power equals 1. Okay, well remember, anything to the 0 power equals 1. So this must have been 2 to the 0 power, or d must be 0 d to the first power equals 2. Well, the first power means we're writing that number out just one time. So what number would you write out one time to get 2? Well, that would just be 2 written out one time. So d must be 2. m to the first power equals 1. Well, which one of these numbers written out one time would give you 1? Well, just 1, 